Hi friends, this is Kendra Petri from the Flathead Valley Mask Makers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D mask, so let's jump right in. So the very first thing you're going to do is take any old piece of paper, fold it in half, and then half again. Now we're going to count four and a half inches down from our folded edge, mark that. Count an inch and a half in, mark there, and two and a half inches on the other side and mark there. Connect with a straight edge and cut out your piece. And this is the only pattern piece you're going to need to cut out for this mask. Now if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can take it and fold from the center to take out some of the width. Now you're going to cut out three pieces that are exactly the size of your pattern. And then the front piece that you'll be able to see, you're going to add one inch to either side, just straight one inch. So then we have our back and our nose piece and chin piece. Now I've also cut a small piece of bias binding that is a couple of inches long that's going to hold our nose wire. So if you want to add a wire, make sure that you have a piece of fabric that you can just fold the edges in on so it has no raw edges showing. To assemble, you're going to take your front piece and place it right side up. Fold your nose piece and your chin piece in half with the wrong sides together so your pattern is facing out. Then you're going to match one of those up at the top of your front piece and the other one up at the bottom of your front piece. So all of your raw edges are matching together. Then you're going to take your back piece and place it right side down on top of the rest of those pieces and just make a little mask sandwich. Now you're going to throw a couple of uh, pins or clips on it making sure that you match up all of the edges. You'll have the two little flaps that will become the channels on the sides for your elastic at the end. Now go ahead and sew all the way from one end to the other and do that again on the other side. I used a 3 8 seam allowance, but that's up to you. And you can see that both of the little ends are open still. So now we're gonna turn our piece right side out use whatever means necessary. This one was a little tight and took me a little bit of time. So now you can see we have our mask right side out and we have kind of a little mask taco going on. And you can see how that's gonna operate now with those top and bottom pieces. Now we're going to fold those top and bottom pieces back in towards the back of our mask, the part that will be against our mouth. And you're going to top stitch along that long edge that goes near your nose and then again on that long edge towards your chin. And this is what gives the mask the 3D structure that holds it away from your mouth while also giving you a secure fit against both your nose and your chin. This is a child size one, but you can see the general idea and how nicely that kind of pops out from my face. Next, we need to make our little side channels for our elastic. So you're going to fold that first raw edge in, fold over again to cover up the raw edges of our top and bottom piece. And now here's where we need to back stitch. So make sure you do that both at the beginning and the end, and then do it for the other side. Now here, your mask could in essence be done if you want, but if you want to add a wire, we need to add a little channel for the wire as well. So grab the top of your mask, find the center by folding it in half, and the center of your piece of bias binding as well and fold it in half. You're going to go most of the way around top stitching, but leave a small opening at the bottom so that you can slide your wire in and out if you want to take it out when you are washing. Make sure that you backstitch the beginning and end of this too, since it is part of the finished piece. So it's a little hard to see in this picture, but basically I have most of a rectangle sewn right around that bias binding. Now we're going to kind of slip our wire in. One side's easy, the other side you have to kind of finagle in there, <laughs> uh, squish it up, and then squish it back into place once it is in its little uh, nose wire channel. 
and that will give you a really good fit that will help your glasses uh, keep from fogging up. And you can see how that looks on my face. So now all we have to do is add some elastic. I love this little elastic threader tool, but you can really use whatever you want uh, as long as it helps push your elastic through that little side channel. I'm using 1 8 inch elastic and they are cut uh, around 8 or 10 inches. I like to keep them long and then tie a loose overhand knot until the wearer can try it on and then adjust. Then they can trim the ends and slide and tuck the knot through. This is how it fits on my 6 year old, so this size turned out perfect for him. And here's the one that I wear every day so you can see the adult size too. Okay guys, so there you have the super condensed 3D mask pattern tutorial. If you want to see the long version, I uh, got this pattern from a wonderful lady named Marcy Hariel on YouTube and she is adorable and has a longer version um, that you can watch there as well if you want to get a little more slow step-by-step -step instruction. Have a good day!